Do you think that this is unique to President Trump's administration? Or do you think we are really seeing a fundamental change in the way that the U.S. wants to interact with China? I don't think it'll ever go back to like before, uh, but let's put it this way. The issue of tension with China and, and the perceptions, and it's not just the U.S. that's having issues about uh, non-market behavior or trade-distorting behavior uh, of China, it, I, think, I think the rest of the world is having the same issues. Uh, but it's qu a question of how do you deal with it. In the past, you would deal with it through dispute settlement uh, th in the WTA process. And the way to deal with it is, okay, if you think the rules are not capturing what uh, China is misbehaving, then we should be changing the rules, right, under the WTO umbrella. What Trump has done is uh, a diff totally different. I even though it's politically incorrect, he's raised the issues that we need to be dealt with openly, right? Uh, and the way he's dealing with it is not the one that we hope uh, will be in the future the way you would do it because it's, it's basically unilateral uh, or if it, uh, that's the polite word for bullying. So you do think it's bullying? Yeah, because you're being told, okay, if you don't do A, B, C, D, E, and we have also had the same experience, then we are going to uh, put the tariffs on your products or we're not going to give you the exemption for steel and aluminium and we may uh, impose other things on you. Well, I might play the devil's advocate. I mean. It could be argued that the Trump administration feels that they need to do that because the other multilateral systems haven't worked. When you were trade minister, or that was also yeah. a problem, WTO didn't work. You're a good devil's advocate, but I'm going to correct you. It's, please make a distinction between the WTO as it is now and all the institutions and rulemaking that already exists and works, which is the dispute settlement, with the negotiations. Even under Bush, under Obama, tensions with China have been there. And, uh, but they have been using the dispute settlement uh, mechanism to solve the conflict. All countries have conflict with each other, right? But how do you deal with it so that it's fair and it's rules-based? and it's based on the rules now. And that's exactly what happened. Sometimes China lost, but they would still abide to it. Sometimes the US lost, and they would abide to it, right? So that, that's what's gone now. Uh, and now there's no uh, like uh, objective uh, arbiter. It is a one way, and, and that would hurt. Imagine if that was us, uh, Indonesia, a small country, dealing with the US. It is, we just have to probably take it, right? Uh, and that would be very, very unfair and very uh, unpredictable. I think, I think the biggest uh, outcome and the biggest uh, cost of what the U.S. is doing is uncertainty and unpredictability. Because you don't know where it's going and you don't know where it's going to end.